Hey everyone, it's Brandy, and you're watching Abstract Crafter. Today we are going to do an unboxing, unbagging, an unbox, bagging, and then an unboxing. I don't know. Uh, it's from Diamond Art Club, and I, before I even got this, I had done tons and tons of like research because this was supposed to be the first one in the homegrown series of American sellers, and. All their information changed on me. So now I'm flying by the seat of my pants because I had plenty of time while waiting for this to come to get the research in order and I had awesome notes. Didn't matter because when I went in to go look at a couple things today I noticed that pretty much everything I made notes about changed. Oh sorry you're seeing my my little wrap keep coming into the picture. I'm not taking it off okay. So let's just start oh that's pretty smashed up. There it is. That's what we're going to be looking at. 31 by 31. It's not 31 by 31, but let me see. But that just gave away my address. Damn it. I'll block that out. Don't you worry. So, yeah. There's my order. Doesn't really say anything else. Okay. Not needed. That's really beat up. I hope it's okay in there. Because I know that they are working on a lot of things right now. Like packaging and... I mean, they got a lot going on. So I'm trying to straighten this out so we can get a good look. So they include pictured instructions. Looks like it's... Got a little bit of a hollow sheen to it. That's really cool. You can see the rainbow. Woo um, yeah, that's really cool. Oh my god, I love that detail. You probably wouldn't have noticed that if it hadn't been for my incredibly bright light and their um, smashed up box. But this little guy went on quite the journey to get to me. And there's a little bit of a story. And we'll get into all that. Let's just see how it's all packaged in here. See what kind of toolkit. You know, standard toolkit. I'm not going to be like most people. I'm not going to go into the details. We all know what a, you know, a toolkit looks like. That's it. Um, if for some reason I ever get one that's incredibly unique, we'll go into more details then. So, this one is named Red Bottom. I'm getting my little notes here. So, well, let's talk about shipping first. This... I ordered this on the 1st, um, July 1st, <laughs> and then it shipped on the 17th, so it took 17 days before shipping, and there's a reason, and I'll get into that, and then it's supposed to be, well, we might as well just get into it now because I can't explain this without getting into it. I received it on the 23rd, so it was 17 days till it shipped, 6 days in shipping, total of 23 days. It is shipped out of the USA, and I can tell that by my tracking information, but there's a reason it takes so long. At first, I was really irritated because it's, it wasn't, it may have been at the time, but I didn't notice it, that it said right on the picture that the shipping, that would take 10 days to process, and then it would be one to three day shipping. It may have said that, like I said, I was so excited when I ordered this because of the picture. And I can tell you a little bit more about that too. Just be patient with me, guys. Oh, oh my god. Holy crap, is that ever soft? Oh, it feels like velvet. <laughs> anyway, so basically what happens is they don't carry everything in stock. It's kind of a print-to-order type of deal. And at the time... They offered four different sizes with two, the diamond variation, because they want you to be able to pick your size and pick your diamonds. Ew. And, um, when I went to go look today, it doesn't seem like that's how they do it anymore. It looks like whatever they have on stock is the only thing that's available. You can't, like, because this one they didn't keep in stock, they didn't have this, this size listed. Because then I went to go look at this exact picture. This size in square was no longer available. The only one that was available was a size smaller and round. So, um, 
that's what I mean. All my notes are just crap. But I look at this though. That's really cool too that they got their own little bags made. I love their tagline, do what makes you sparkle. I like that. So the information that I had gotten from them was that they add up to between 15 and 20 variations every day to their ready to ship. And basically what happened was because this one, nobody had ever ordered this one in this size with these diamonds, the squares. I got it in square. And I'm kind of regretting that now too because definitely rounds would have been better for detail on this size canvas. But that's my fault, not theirs. Um... Oh, yeah, we got to talk about this canvas. So, I'm all over the place. I'm sorry. It's been a, it's been a day here. So, basically, it's they like to say that customers decide what's available on the shelves. And so by they say that now that I've ordered this one in this size in with these squares, basically since I picked this one in the 30 by 30 with the square diamonds, it's supposedly going to be available all the time now to other people. So it wasn't there before, but because I picked it and they had to print it to order, more or less, now it is available, but it wasn't, because when I went there, it wasn't on there. Like this size, it was only um, the 20 by 20 and round, so I'm not really sure. Like I know, they're, they're a newer company, so we have to give them, give it to them for their growing pains and whatnot. So I'm not mad about any of that. I actually think that the way that they do it now is much better. So the sizes that they don't have on hand, like this size, for example, it now says out of stock. And the ones that they do have on stock, like, like the 20 by 20 in the round, it tells you how many they have available. So they don't really do it that way anymore. As far as I could tell, like I said, I had all this information written down and they're working on different, you know, they're trying to improve. And so my information is wrong. And because I didn't bother to check that beforehand... I only have right now to, <laughs> I only had a few minutes before doing this unboxing because I was so excited to get this thing open. So let's get into some more personal details. Um, we can talk about more business related details as we go along. So I noticed that there's some writing down here. It says, proud of your masterpiece. Share your work on social media and get a $5 gift certificate towards your next purchase. Take us at Diamond Art Club so we can see it and send you your gift card. And then it says, visit us on Facebook and Instagram, where you can share your work and see what everyone else has done, too. And I have visited both of those, and it is really cool. Like, if you go to Facebook under their videos, they literally show you the whole process. So this glue is laid down by hand, and they show the packaging process, the like packaging the diamonds... All that, all that. It's you Just go check it out. I'll try to link it down below so you can go. They're just short little clips. They're not very long. Um, I believe it's one of the owners does an unboxing of one to show off. Like, when they went to this box, I want to say that they're working more on this kind of stuff. But I hope not because this is a gorgeous box. So I hope they keep this... This is a mess of an unboxing, I'm telling you. So, um, at, you know, as we always do, we will get down and look close, but I want to talk about this canvas. I'm not even kidding you. Like, can you see? Probably not, but that is so soft. You can hear it. It doesn't sound like a normal canvas when you rub your hand over it. It sounds like really soft, like a cloth, like... One of those really soft blankets. Um, let's lift this guy up. I'm just going to take it all the way off. Well, yeah, I know I freak people out when I take my covers all the way off, but you got to understand. Um, it doesn't freak me out. You know, I'm not walking around with it. I'm not, you know, letting the animals jump up here or anything where I'm filming. Nobody can get into it. So I feel comfortable with that. Now, you guys know how much it irritates me about over on glue, so we're going to look at that, and that is really sticky. So one other thing is that they say that their, the way that they lay their glue will last up to 10 years, whereas, like, the canvases that we order with the white opaque paper, that's just, like, a sticky sheet that gets laid down. That's not, um, <clears throat> excuse that 
throat, <laughs> frog throat, throat frog. Yeah. He likes to visit, as you know, in every video. And so, anyway, back to what we're saying. Um, so, when you see the white opaque paper, that's just like a sticky sheet that's been laid down. Kind of like what people have been doing with the Heaven and Earth Designs canvases, where they're putting that double-sided sticky tape down. It's very similar to that. It's not the same material. I'm just using that as an example. And so there's actually a video on that Facebook page where they show them laying down the glue. And so it's really pretty. You can see how it's sparkling. I, I really like that. I wish that there was more of a border so I could keep that around there. You know, I mean, I, I love all this stuff on the side. Don't get me wrong. I mean, and they even have chart on both sides, which I love. But let's take a look at this glue. I'm setting that down the way it's supposed to go back on the canvas. So don't let me forget. So the glue is not coming out very far. So that's awesome. It comes out to about right there where my nail is. Comes to about right there where that nail is. Let's turn her around. Goes to right there. And right there. I can deal with that. I am okay with that. I have some really cute washi tape that I can use for a border and it's got the edge that is sewn and cut like that and it is it does feel like it's been like singed I don't want to say burned but you know like when they cut it it was probably melted a tiny bit to prevent that fraying and then the, that stitch there does something to help it too this is the same kind of way that um Diamond Dots does it, so I appreciate that a ton. Um, I think that this is still going to be really gorgeous, and we're going to look at the colors. But now, anytime that you take this paper off, make sure you test the corner, just the smallest bit, to make sure that that's going to peel off right away, because you don't want to put this on backwards. It can rip your glue off if you pull too hard. I mean, you can get it off, but it's not going to be easy. Ugh. Why do I always have trouble with these ones? I know a lot of people hate them, but I like them, especially on smaller ones. I mean, there's no sense in covering this in opaque paper. It's so small. And if you prefer opaque paper, start saving it. Like, that's what I do, is I save my opaque paper. And then that was my idea, was that when I came across one of these with this type of covering that I didn't like... I could um, replace it. I haven't found um, a painting that I wanted to do that with yet. And because all the paintings I get keep coming pre-cut, the paper pre-cut, then I haven't been able to really save it. And I don't, I'm not gonna save a bunch of strips. I want full pieces. So like on some of my smaller paintings it might. Um, there's like a little weirdness with the glue right in here. I don't know if you can, if it's gonna show that. I don't think it's going to affect the canvas overall. It's underneath this air bubble. It, I see that on a lot of paintings. It's, I, it's from when you lay this sheet on it, and you know after a while it's going to make that impression. That's all it is. Is it's an impression in the glue. And see, and you can see right here it says schematic, schematic. <laughs> I don't. And here's a look at. We'll look at this better, but that's my color chart. And I, like I said, I love that it's on both sides. And there is a coupon code down here. It says, check out our selection at Diamond Art Club and use this code for 15% off your next purchase. Larger paintings are preferred for best clarity. Smaller paintings cannot be as detailed, which I, I knew. But you guys know that I have a budget, and my budget's $40 a month. And this was, I wrote it down. I wrote it down. Where did that information go? My God, can I get it together today? I was so excited for this series, and I am just not doing my job. Oh, God. It's got an, a lifetime guarantee on it. I have no idea what I was about to tell you guys. Anyway, so the, going back to the ordering and the shipping and all that stuff, the reason it took 17 days was because I ordered it on a Friday.
takes 10 business days, so then you add in the weekend days. And then, it, that was about right. And the shipping, it when you wait that long, it's supposed to have a one to three day shipping guarantee. There's a couple reasons why I didn't worry too much about that. For one, it was stuck in Compton, California. It was, you know, picked up the day it was supposed to get shipped. But it sat in Compton for, because it ships via DHL. And it sat there for a long time, most of the time. Because once it started moving, it sat there from the 18th to the 21st. And then from the 21st to the 23rd, it went through four different cities to get here. It really made its round. But I'm kind of wondering if DHL is going to be the best way for them to go with how damaged that was. I've never had one that, like, and just the route it took, it was kind of a strange path. But, I mean, obviously that must be the ch cheapest, so I'm not trying to give them advice on how to run their company by any means. Um, these are just thoughts that come out of my head. So it looks like these are done by weight, which is awesome. And they do talk about their diamonds being better than other companies. So that'll be really nice to see if that's true. So let's just take a look. We'll do, um, it's kind of mixed up, so I can't really do a proper, proper inventory, but there's eight. So there's obviously going to be a lot of grays, whites, blacks in this because it's technically a black and white. The only color is meant to be on the bottom of the shoes and the butterflies. Now, if you don't remember some of my um, earlier um, episodes, go back and watch them because I talk about this. I have an obsession with high-heeled shoes. I freaking love high-heeled shoes. And I love butterflies. I mean, obviously, I have a butterfly. I wanted him right there so he'd always be with me. And I, I just love butterflies. And actually, one time we got to go down to the zoo in the cities. It was the Como Zoo, and they had this butterfly tent. And you could just walk around with all the butterflies flying all around you. It was an amazing experience. And I suggest anybody who can have that opportunity to do it because it was... And even if you're afraid, like my son was scared to death of the butterflies, and he came in anyway. I was so proud of him because, he, I mean, he really was freaking out. It was like panic attack mode. And he made it, and it was just a magical experience. And I know that sounds like really like hippie, like well, I am kind of a hippie, so you'll get a lot of that from me. These colors are really vibrant. I am really, really impressed with these colors. I can't wait to compare them to some of these colors I have in my logbook. Fifteen, especially like six o three and two. I know six o two is one of my favorite colors out of the DMCs. And, like, these reds are something fierce. So, yes, I, I collect shoes sometime. If I can find the picture, I, let me see. I'll insert it here. Those are my wedding shoes. So that just goes to show what kind of personality I have. I mean, who else gets wedding shoes with skulls on them? But I, I do. You know, that I wanted... A little bit of me to peek out through all that girliness and I can't wait till you guys see my custom that comes okay so we got 20 colors they're all here it all looks great it looks like they gave me quite a bit of overage just because I'm glancing at the canvas and seeing what it is that I need and there's plenty here so I'm pretty excited about that there ain't much I'm not excited about um, so as you know I've done Diamond Art Club now I've got Diamond Dots, and then we also have Cooper Diamond Art in the works for my homegrown series. Right now, them are the only three companies I can find in the U.S. It's not, it's really not easy finding companies that are based in the U.S. that actually ship from the U.S. Even if they're made in another country, I don't really care so much as long as they have a warehouse in the U.S. You know, so you're not waiting the same amount of time. The exception is with this. I should have paid better attention to this when I ordered this, uh, and I really should have known better than to get a 30 by 30. I don't blame them at all. I mean, to some extent, I wish companies would not put something, like, if they don't think that, like, 
for example, I'm not saying this one in, in particular, if they didn't think, like, say, this one, if they thought, oh, that's going to look really bad in that size, they shouldn't offer it. You know, I don't think that that's what Diamond Art Club thinks, because I don't think that they would put that size down. Is if you go look at other paintings, you'll see there's a lot of variation in their sizes. Not every one has the same different sizes as this one does. You know, some of them come in bigger and don't have even a 30 by 30 in their size. So just go look. And they also have a really generous rewards program. I think I had given some information in one of Donnie's posts about being able to use 100% of the rewards program. That's not the case. Um, you can use up to 40% off of your painting. So almost 50%. And 100 points equals one dollar. So for every dollar you spend, you get 100 points. So say I used the money on this, because like I said, this was twenty six ninety five when I ordered it. I, they had a three dollar off coupon at the time, and that covered shipping, which was two ninety nine. So then you could have saved. Let me try to math for you, because we all know I can't math. You would have saved. It would have essentially been about seventeen dollars, seventeen fifty maybe, with forty percent off, and that's that's awesome. You know, if it's dollar for dollar, you're gonna that's gonna add up really quickly. So, I don't know. I am gonna do a drill with me on this so that we can talk a little bit more. I got a story to tell you. With that being said, I am going to be a customer for life. The reason that they are expensive is because these pictures are licensed, because they lay the glue down by hand, because they put so much work into making sure that these drills are perfect for you. So they really go above and beyond to make sure that you are getting a really quality piece of art. And if that means that I pay a little bit more for a canvas that feels like this, like you don't even, like you could cuddle up and sleep with this. This canvas is exceptional quality, and I don't know anything about how everything's going to work. We'll get into that with the drill with me, and you'll know all those on the post review. Um, right now, I am a huge fan, and I really, really would like you guys to at least go check them out. I understand that you might not be able to afford them. But maybe find one that you could afford because I think everyone should at least own one piece of art from them just so you can make up your own mind about them. Um, this is awesome. So I'm really excited about this. This picture is going to be beautifully framed and hung right above my beauty vanity because, I mean, why not? But all right, guys, so stay tuned for the drill with me on this one, and we'll get into some more details. And with that, I'm going to let you go. Have an awesome day, friends, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. So I wanted to add this clip in because I just finished kitting this up to get ready to do the drill with me that's going to be on Wednesday. And oh my god. This is going to look so gorgeous above my beauty area. And I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's framed and put up where it belongs. And then here it is. I'm in, I'm in my own shadow. But look at it. I tried a new system. And since this is the first company in my series, um, I was just trying to experiment with labeling. But... <laughs> Getting a better look. Well, okay, let me pick a better color, not gray. Um, when I was getting this ready and kitting it up and was able to get a really close look at the diamonds. Oh, I got so excited. I'm like, ah! <laughs> a little dramatic. I, my fingers won't even get one out because I'm just so excited. But, like, look at how bright and vibrant those colors are. Now, I also am doing this little sneak peek because... Um, after I realized that my notes were severely outdated already, I, um, emailed Diamond Art Club, um, the owners, and I asked, uh, information, like, so that I could fill you guys in, like, anything new, updates, changes that are coming, anything like that. 
and I have so much information to share with you guys. I am so excited. So you do not want to miss out on the second part of the series, the homegrown series. Um, you guys are really going to like this, and I just, I don't, words are just escaping me right now at all the amazing changes that are coming, and with everything that I've dealt with lately, with all these companies, and not getting what I paid for, missing drills, crappy canvases, I'm just, I'm over it, I'm so over it, and I think we will start... We're not, I always end up doing like the boring stuff with you guys. I want to just jump right into the color so we can see what these guys look like when they're all finished up. And, um, just another little thing because you know how I like my little canisters. <clears throat> I mean, my condiment cups. I had to get away from those. And so I tried something like this where I put the, the number. So let's see if we go down. There's 14. And it's number 602. And then on the other side, I made the same. That's a really bad example. That's like the worst symbol I have the most trouble with. But, you know, then I did that. And then since they sit in the compartment like that, I tried to put all the information there. And then on the top, I tried to do the same thing. It was a crap ton of work. But now, no matter which way, I, you know, like if it, for some reason I throw it around or if I take the top off it you can hear my cats fighting because it's playtime now but no matter which way I'm looking at it I should have some information so that's just a new syst filing system I'm trying and as I was looking at these I had no sticky drills no squishy drills there was quite a bit of static but I was also working right next to my laptop on top of another diamond painting and um and you also saw me kind of, you know, flattening this out. In some of the information, I'll share that with you now because I think it's important. You don't need to, you know, like how I, everybody always lifts the paper, lifts this, and then, you know, continually flattens out. She told me, now this wrinkle is, um, it was there, but I made it worse by shoving it in my portfolio. So just ignore that when I'm telling you this part. But she said... They're meant to flatten out on their own if you leave them out for like 30 minutes. So when I get my next one, we are going to try that out. And as a special like surprise, because my giveaway is coming up in less than 25 subscribers. Um, and I don't have time right now to change that canvas and there'll be more information on where that video went in the drill with me so you also want to tune in for that not that I want to you know mix that kind of information with I don't want to mix bad with good but I have a little bit of explaining to, to do to you guys for you guys to you guys whatever however you want to take that um, about that but since I have you know don't have enough time and I want to get this giveaway done because the other prizes are cool. And like I said, somebody is going to really like the canvas. And they're going to see the beauty in it past what I did. Um, when I place my next order for Diamond Art Club, which I'm guaranteeing you will be very soon, I am going to order an extra one. I don't know what the picture is going to be yet, and it's going to be a surprise giveaway. You don't. I don't know when it's going to be. It's not going to be based on a subscriber count. It's literally going to be based on the fact that I want more of you guys to try them out and just see how much it's worth it. I would rather pay extra money to guarantee that I'm getting everything, that I'm getting a good canvas, that I'm getting good customer service, that... I can feel comfortable buying from a U.S. company, buying from women, um, not that that should matter, but I'm super big on the empowering women thing, like super big. You don't even want me to get into how much I advocate for strong women in, in the workplace and all that. It, that's a topic for a different day, and I'm rambling. This was supposed to be a quick clip just to show you guys that, you know, a little preview that I'm set up for the drill with me. But, um, I just, I feel like 
it's an investment to begin with. And I'm going to stop investing in companies that are out to rip me off, that don't care, that I have to wait months and months for. And then when I'm missing stuff, which I have been with almost every order, or I have something wrong, which you'll see in um, some upcoming reviews, I have to wait another month just to be able to finish the stupid thing. <sighs> And I say stupid because it is stupid that I can't... Com <clears throat> oh my god. It is stupid that I can't even complete anything. I mean, I'm not even remotely worried about about this. I know it sounds like I'm, like, being paid by Diamond Art Club, but I can guarantee you I'm not. Because if you ever want to know if I'm being paid by a company, uh, it's either going to be in the description box or on my About Me if I'm affiliated. I am just that passionate. Just with everything that I've dealt with, the companies that I've dealt with, the products that I've had to deal with, I'm so done dealing with mediocre stuff. I'm not going to settle anymore. If it means spending a little bit more on a canvas, then I am willing to do it at this point because I just can't do this anymore. I... Ugh, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> But alright, I'm going to let you guys go for real now. Go enjoy your day. Go do some diamond painting. And I will see you guys in the next one where we'll be uh, applying drills to this so you guys can see how things work firsthand. You can get an up-close view. And my cats are, you know, celebrating. They're not fighting, they're celebrating. Because <laughs> we didn't get to do a drill with me on Friday. So... Stay tuned Wednesday, be watching for the giveaway video that'll come out whenever I hit 500. I'll try to get that up right away so you guys can see everything that I'm including in the giveaway. And um, yeah, alright. Love you guys. Bye.